So now we've talked about aligning the laser, entering slope. Now we're going to talk about some of the applications for pipe. As you can see, the laser is, is a spinning as a rotary laser now. It's level. I want to use it as a pipe laser. To do that, all you need to do is turn the laser over like so. Turn these legs out like so. And you'll notice now here on the screen that there's only one axis. There's only a Z axis. You'll notice that the level bubble there is blinking. It's making its adjustments. It's, it's leveling itself. And now the, it's spinning again. When you're using a pipe laser, you don't need the beam to be spinning. So you'll hit button number four. The beam will stop. And you can, uh, there's a few different settings you can have it on. Again, for pipe, you don't need the beam at all. You just want that icon there to read zero. Now all we have is a beam. And we're ready to uh, spot align the instrument. Now we've got our laser set in our manhole, we're ready to align it. You can see our beam is right there on the wall. We're going to use the SF601, the spot finder, to align the laser. We would take this to our next manhole and center it on the center of the manhole. We'll simulate that right now. Turn it on there, it'll light up. And we'll say the center of our manhole is right here. We take our remote, select menu, and spot align is what we're after. So we'll hit the number four button to enter. And the laser, as you can see here, is a self-aligning. It's searching for this spot finder. Here's the beam. You can see that the spot finder is lighting up, telling the laser where to go. Still searching. It's looking for it. And when it's done, the beam will plunge back down to the grade that was set originally. See, there it goes. Right there. It moved from over here to here. It found where it was looking for with the spot finder. Now we're ready to enter a slope into the laser. You do that by selecting the one button, the two button, I'm sorry. It will give you the Z axis. You move over to your desired point, say we wanted 5%, so I've got the correct spot chosen. I'm going to hit the 1 button to increase it to 5, and then we need to make sure we hit the 4 button to enter. If you watch the beam, it moved, and once it's done blinking, you know that you're ready to go ahead and lay pipe.